part of the NBA schedule will be released Tuesday afternoon. With that being said, let's take a look at our wish list for Christmas games this upcoming season. Knicks and Hawks met in the playoffs. Trey Young was must-see TV in the Garden, gave that electric feel back. GA, you know a thing or two about that. How perfect would it be to have Trey Young in the Garden on Christmas? Yeah, I, I love it. It's almost like Reggie Miller 2.0, right? The the new Knicks nemesis is going to be Trey Young. He was brilliant in that series. And for the New York Knicks, the fact that they have a nemesis is a positive. Uh, and I do think that would be an interesting matchup on uh, Christmas Day. Atlanta's got a chance to go to another level. I mean, they're going to build, hopefully, off getting to the conference finals. Uh, they got a beautiful young core that I think will continue to get better, led by Trey Young. Uh, I I'm just excited to see if they're ready to take that next step. There's been a lot of moves made in that Eastern Conference, so them just depending upon the growth of that young core is going to be interesting, but I do think that's the right approach. Eastern Conference Finals, you say. I think about the Milwaukee Bucks and also the Miami Heat, the two teams that represented the East in the Finals the last two years. GA, this feels like a rivalry brewing. Think about it. Miami's the last team to eliminate the Bucks in postseason play. They were, and, and the Bucks were the last team to eliminate the Miami Heat as well this past season. So uh, I, I don't think there'll be any love lost between those two teams. Uh, I like how Milwaukee is trying to revamp and move on. You got to believe they're going to have a huge confidence boost having won it all. And then Middleton and Drew Holiday also getting a gold medal. Uh, Miami has definitely revamped that roster, uh, a, a total makeover. Uh, they they could recommit it to Jimmy Butler. Obviously, Bam's been signed a long term. Kyle Lowry coming on board. Uh, and then P.J. Tucker, don't discount what he means to that group as well. So this team is retooled, they're revamped, and they got to feel like they have as good a chance as any in that Eastern Conference. It's the NBA Finals preview that everyone's salivating for when you think of three MVPs, two Finals MVPs, LeBron James, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis, the Nets, and the Lakers. That would be the Christmas gift of all time. I don't know that I will have anticipated a matchup as much as this one in a long time. Did you not even mention Russell Westbrook? I mean, by name, I mean, he's going to be a featured star in this group as well. Uh, and in a lot of ways, this is the game that or the, the, the matchup that most thought we might see in the NBA Finals a year ago, uh, potentially, but for health. And let's hope for some good health, because I do think that would be an epic matchup. And kind of a feel-out game for both those teams because I'm sure both are looking at the other as a potential uh, matchup in the NBA Finals. Well, you mentioned that last year we didn't get to see KD and LeBron go head-to-head -head because of injury. It would be amazing to see that on Christmas. Yeah. Oh, I, I would be so pumped. And, you know, that was has been the debate for quite some time, who's the better player. Uh, Giannis has probably got something to say about that right now, but those two guys from a skill standpoint, longevity and impact on the game, uh, they're right at the top of that list. Uh, that is going to be as epic a showdown as, as we could ever ask for. And I mean, think about it. You're going to have as co-stars, co James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, and Anthony Davis. I mean, that's, that's a lot of firepower to have out on the floor. And there will be a lot of anticipation for that heavyweight battle. How about we sprinkle in some international flavor in the reigning MVP, Nikola Jokic, going up against Luka Doncic. Oh, yeah, don't forget Chris Stapps Porzingis. We know the Joker, your reigning MVP, but Luka, the odds-on favorite as the guy that will win the MVP in the future. That would be an incredible matchup to have. Uh, and, and a really, I think, big time matchup, especially because there's still going to be some uncertainty about the makeup of the teams, right? Jamal Murray's still going to be out. Does Dallas revamp and retool? Uh, obviously, bringing Jason Kidd on board. But ultimately, you're going to get to see in Luka Doncic uh, and, and the Joker, two of the best young stars our game has ever seen and and the fact that they're both international players i think adds to the global impact of our game and listen i, I do think both teams have to feel like they got a legit chance especially when you look at how good denver's been getting to a conference final uh two seasons ago this past year 
uh, able to still win a playoff series. So uh, they've got a lot of excitement in, in D- Denver building, but I do think Dallas has a chance to take that next step. And Luka, out, coming off the performance in the Olympics, uh, he's a special talent. I just got to believe Jason Kidd in a hierarchy there can figure it out and get this team beyond the first round. Our West Coast nightcap has to be the Splash Brothers back healthy against the team that represented the West in the finals, the Warriors and Suns. We would see some of the top-tier guard play that you can find out there. What do you think about this one? Oh, I don't know that we've ever seen a better matchup of backcourts in, in, in recent memory. Think about that. Chris Paul, Devin Booker going up against the Splash Brothers. I, I, I just think that in and of itself is going to create as much excitement as one could have and then you factor in also when you look at this Warriors team they probably feel like they're ready if if Clay's back that this is going to be a team to be reckoned with come postseason and at that point in the season we should have a, a pretty good sense of the potential of this Warriors team this new look Warriors team and also is Phoenix going to be able to get back to the lofty level of the NBA Finals that they got to this past season. It's going to be a tough challenge in that Western Conference, but these are two teams that I think have a legitimate chance. I I just think getting Klay Thompson back is going to be such a shot in the arm for this Warriors franchise and make them relevant once again. Yeah, hopefully there are some other teams that um, when we do get the full schedule because the release of the schedule will be live here on NBA TV at 3 o'clock. GA, some of the teams that we didn't mention, maybe they will play on Christmas Day. Uh, Stan Van Gundy and, of course, GA will be here with yours truly at 3 o'clock on NBA TV as the schedule is released at 3. Championship is left.